Let's go ahead, open it up, and take a first look. So here is the box for the Nokia X. It's teeny, it's tiny, as is the phone itself. All kinds of specs written on it, but we don't need to worry about that because I will tell you all about them. So don't judge this phone by the super phone specs, the HTC Ones and the Galaxy S5s of the world. This is under 200 bucks off contract. You can probably find it for about 120, depending on where you look. Uh, so it offers a lot in sort of a teeny, tiny little package. Uh, and it's running Android, which is, seems crazy to me. So pull that one off. I have not had a chance to see this phone yet or even check out what Nokia's skinned version of Android looks like. So uh, out of the box, you don't have support for Google Play, but it's Android, you can sideload the suckers on pretty easily. And here is the phone, and it feels like a Lumia device. It's got that sort of nice um, plastic built to it. It does feel certainly a little bit on the hollower side uh, than perhaps we've seen with other Lumia phones. Push it off to the side for a quick second and see what else we're going to have inside of the box. We've got a cardboard thing, you got some Nokia X things, a language I can't understand. We've got a pair of headphones with the inline mic on it, and they are red. Uh, we've got a charger, which connects to micro USB. And we've got a battery. So that's probably why it felt hollow, because uh, the battery was in there. I'm used to Nokia um, just doing built-in batteries. So let's go ahead and pop the battery uh, into this guy and turn on the phone. So the whole back just comes off. We got two SIM card slots here, which is really cool. Also, it's going to give you two dialers uh, on there. So if you're traveling internationally and you want one local and one your regular SIM, uh, it's kind of a nice option. I haven't really had a chance to check out that many uh, dual SIM type devices. So I'm really excited to take a look at this guy. Uh, we'll go ahead and pop in the battery. It's a 1500 milliamp hour battery. And then I'll turn it on and I'll walk you through uh, all the specs. This plastic just goes right back on. And I will assume that it probably doesn't feel as hollow as I originally thought. Uh, and uh, it doesn't actually feel way better. So that's why this is a live unboxing and first impressions. We'll go ahead and power it on and I'll do a quick tour of the device. Uh, on the right hand side, you've got your volume up and down. You've got your power and lock button. You can see it's sort of turning on right there. Uh, nothing on the left hand side. Charging and sync port uh, on the bottom. On the top, there is your headphone uh, jack. And we've got a camera on the back, which is 3 megapixel, but you'll notice what it's missing is a camera on the front. Uh, so it's a 4-inch display right here, uh, which means it's 800 by 480. Uh, it's got a 233 PPI, and there's Nokia's familiar ringtone. Uh, it's an IPS LCD, in case you're wondering. Uh, being powered by a 1 gigahertz Snapdragon dual-core processor, 512 megabytes of RAM, uh, and 4 gigs of storage. It's sort of, I guess you would say, modern specs for early 2013. Uh, 4 gigs of storage inside of it. It does have external storage options though. A uh, micro SD up to uh, 32 gigabytes. Um, no NFC here at all, unfortunately, but uh, you know, kind of what you expect. We'll go ahead and go continue and go through the whole setup process and see what it looks like. All right, so we got this guy all powered on. Let me pull off the plastic here and get that whooshing noise, hopefully, that I love. Boom. There we go. So you've got one button here. You don't have sort of the three typical Android buttons. I want to give this folder a name, but I don't want to give that folder a name. It will forever remain a nameless. Uh, so it looks sort of similar to Windows Phone. You've got kind of a tile-esque interface. You just keep scrolling down. Uh, you can see where all of your apps are going to live. You don't have sort of an app tray. Um, you can pull down and get a quick view of your settings uh, right there. And I think that you can also scroll up to get some information. Um, and it's kind of standard stuff here. Uh, let's take a quick look. So we've got two SIM uh, on top, so you can see what obviously both those are going to look like. You'll have two dialers too, which is really neat if you put in uh, both SIMs. Let's see what the camera UI looks like here. I'm sort of exploring this for the first time. It looks very uh, typical Nokia. Let's have a quick picture. Let's put the box in frame. Get the autofocus for us and snap. Yeah, so you're not going to be Ansel Adams with this guy. Uh, but it does seem to work. Uh, if we want to arrange things, we can drag them around and you see that they're all sort of arranged in tiles. And it looks very familiar uh, to Windows Phone. Although it's funny, as you move it, you can see there's a trail. Um, <laughs> it's got a hard time keeping up with what I'm doing. So that's something I've never seen before. That's definitely a, a thing that happened. Um, if we go ahead and hold it down, you can resize it if you want uh, exactly like you can on Windows Phone. In fact, the arrows uh, look exactly the same. If you hold it down again, you get two icons here. You can Select one. Um, you can sort of choose a widget if you want. So you can see what's here, at least built in. Since it is Android based, you can have those widgets. In fact, that one looks like it was aped directly out of Android, including sort of the font color there as well. And the other one, I'll just put it inside of a folder. Go ahead and go home. I will say it's kind of frustrating, a bit annoying to navigate Android with just a single home button. Um, but it's there. If you hold it down, you don't get anything. You double tap it. <laughs> There you go. If you tap it once, it'll go to Let's Go in the fast lane. Nothing's going to happen, though, if you're going to double tap this thing. Um, go ahead and jump to the settings, see what that looks like here. Uh, this looks like very typical Android, which is very still strange to see uh, on a Nokia device. You go into About Phone. Uh, we are running, not even going to tell us the version of Android we're running, uh, Nokia X Software Platform 1.0. So 
not really sure which version of Android this thing is based on. Uh, a very interesting phone. Looking forward to taking a look at it and putting it through a bit more spaces and seeing how it performs. It's a weird hybrid of Android and Windows phone. It's like a low-cost Frankenphone. But I'd like to hear your thoughts if you guys think it's worthwhile, not worthwhile. Um, you know, something you'd ever pick up, or why'd you pick it up? I can see why travelers might want this. Um, but leave your comments right down below. But in a world of very crowded Android phones and a lot of good, low-cost Android options, not sure why this would be the right one to get. If you pull down, you can also do a search I just discovered. So that's kind of neat. Let me take a quick second to thank our friends and overall good people at Dollar Shave Club. Look at this face. Clearly, I hate shaving. That's mostly because buying razors kind of blows. You got to go to the store. You got to gas the manager with the zits for the key to that plastic razor thing. Then you got to shell out just crazy bucks for some acidine shave tech that you probably don't need. My razor honestly worked fine before it got a vibrating hand on a laser pointer, although Lucy does love laser pointer razors. But fortunately though, there is a company that's doing away with all of that silliness and getting down to what matters. For really just a few bucks a month, Dollar Shave Club ships pretty awesome quality razors and other bathroom goodies right to your door, and their blades are just as good as other big shave companies at a fraction of the price, which is good on your wallet and your face. Uh, they've got things like Dr. Carver's Easy Shave Butter to make your shave even more buttery smooth, appropriately for the name. And you also gotta try One Wipe Charlie. It's a new peppermint infused wipes for men. Listen, we all do it. This way you'll come out of it feeling all fresh and smiley. Shave time, shave money, join Dollar Shave Club now. Go to dollarshaveclub.com slash technobuffalo. Now back to the video. So what do you guys think of the Nokia X? Is it your next phone? It's got a lot packed into a very low price and it's kind of a nice form factor. It still seems weird to have Android running on Nokia, but I guess stranger things have happened. Hope to hear your thoughts on it. Leave the comments right down below. Till next time, I'm John Ridge from Techno Buffalo. See you guys next video. Bye-bye. What's up, everyone? Thank you for watching that video. If you want to see more of the latest and greatest tech news, you can subscribe to our main Techno Buffalo channel by clicking the button right down below in my pants region, or click on the buttons to your right to see more videos.